Code snippets have been one of my go-to plugins throughout the years, uh, especially if I need to add some functionality to my site. It's easy to use. Just paste your snippet, activate it, and there you go. But although it's a really good plugin, there are something that I always wanted it to have. For example, the possibility to save the snippets to the cloud, conditional logic, and so on. Therefore, I was really glad that approximately one month ago, I discovered the plugin called WP Code Box. And today I'm gonna show you how awesome this plugin is. For example, it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. It allows me to have custom conditions for the snippets and so on. So in this video, I'm going to make you an overview what this plugin is and how does it benefit you. If you're interested, then jump in. First thing I need to address is that if Code Snippets is a free plugin, then WP Codebox is not a free plugin. But although it's a premium plugin, the pricing is really reasonable. For example, unlimited lifetime license is only $119. And if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to it with a 20% discount coupon for you. And for this price, I'm pretty sure it's no brainer. And let's start by installing a plugin to one of my sites. And to do so, I'm gonna go to my account. After purchasing the plugin, I'm gonna go to the downloads. I'm gonna download the latest version or if needed, the latest beta version. There is also a nice change log. You can see what happens here. The plugin is uh, updated frequently and basically every bigger version has a bunch of cool new features inside it. So let's download it and I'm going to open one of my sites. Next, I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, upload the plugin, install it and activate it. After that, you'll see the WP code box menu on the left. Click on it. And now let's take a look at the settings first. And first, let's take a look at the layout. There are three panels for you. Left one, middle one and the biggest one for the code itself. If you click on the settings, you can change the layout. As you see, now the settings menu is on the right and some of the settings are on the left. I like the default view the most, therefore I'm gonna leave it as it is. You can change the editor theme as you like. Chrome, Ambience, Clouds and so on. There are a bunch of those here. Just select the one you like the most. For example, Dreamweaver for me and editor font size, you can change it accordingly, as you see. I'm gonna select wrap long lines. What will it do? I'm gonna deactivate this one here and I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'm gonna paste this one here. And as you see, there is a scroll bar here. If I wrap long lines, it doesn't happen. So it's a nice feature that I really like. If I would like to move the WP code box to the tools menu, instead of sitting up here, it will be moved under the tools menu. I can do that also. Save changes, refresh, and there you go. I like it to be as a main menu, therefore I move it back. If you need a dark mode, you can enable it. Also, if you're using the cloud, then you can ask before uploading to the cloud, just activate this here. And that means we have to talk about the cloud. There is a cloud snippets here. I can add folders here, for example, WooCommerce. And next one, for example, WordPress. I already have uploaded one snippet to the cloud. I'm gonna just click on it and move it to the WooCommerce folder but it is an awesome feature because usually I use my snippet slab Mac app for all my snippets. And every time I need to use one of those, I have to find it here and paste it to the site. But now I can upload my frequently used snippets to the cloud and just download those with a couple of clicks. For example, this one here is a cloud snippet. If I click on download from cloud, it will be downloaded to the local snippets. It's not activated yet. Couple of explanations. What will it do? 
it will add a product inquiry form on a WooCommerce single product page. So in order to activate it, I'm going to save it and then enable it. There is also a toggle icon here. If I click on it, I can see whether the snippet is activated or not. And now to demonstrate whether the snippet worked or not, I'm going to open up one of the single product pages and there is a button. I activate it. If I click on it, it will open up the inquiry form. If I close it, it shows as a button. If you're interested out there at uh, this kind of inquiry form on your site, then take a look at the description of this video. I'm going to put the link to it. I have made a thorough tutorial about it. Next, uh, let's take a look how to upload the snippets to the cloud. And I have to say there is nothing much to talk about it in, except that there is a upload to cloud button. Click on it. And there it is. It uploaded it here. You can drag it in a place you want or you can just delete it as you like. Now as you see this button is shown on every product. But what if I would like to display the snippet only on certain conditions? Therefore, where to run the snippet? I'm going to open up the custom, open condition builder, add condition. I would like the taxonomy to be product categories and accessories. That means this button will be shown only for products that have a accessories category attached to it. So let's save it. At the moment I am seeing the album product. It contains category music. If I refresh it, as you see, there is no button here. I'm going to open up the single, no button here. Let's take a look at the accessories. Open up one product and there you go. There is a button. But what if I would like to add some other conditions? Let's show this button to the accessories products, but also for the product hoodie with zipper. That means I'm going to open up the condition builder, add group. That means either this or this one here. That means current post is, I'm going to look for zipper, open it up, save it, say one more time. Let's take a look at the product. There you go. Let's open up hoodie with logo. Nope, no button here. Awesome, isn't it? This condition builder makes your life much, much easier, especially if you need to display your content here or there. Now let's take a look how to create a snippet. It's fairly easy to do so. So new snippet, give it a title, for example, test message, optional description here. You can choose what type of snippet is it, PHP, CSS, external CSS. That means you can load external CSS files with a couple of clicks. SCSS less JavaScript, also external JavaScript. And what is especially awesome is that you can load the scripts from the external sites. That means CDNJS, click on load from. Let's imagine that I would like to load a font awesome script to my site. Just I'm going to search for font awesome. There you go. Now, if I activate it, it will load a font awesome. I can add HTML on my site or just a plain text. Now, let's imagine that I'm going to add a PHP function on my site. And that means I'm going to paste my snippets below this PHP here. What will it do? It will display a message on top of the single product page. How to run the snippet, whether it loads always on page loads or manual on demand. I'm going to select always later. I'm going to show you what does it mean if you run the snippet manually. Where to run the snippet everywhere. That means on admin area and front end. I would like it to be used only on front end. First, I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to enable it. And if I refresh my page, then there is a message over here because I am using the hook WooCommerce before single product. But if I change the location, I'm going to change the hook and save it. Now I'm going to go and refresh it. Now it's here. And once again, if needed, I can use the conditions here. Now let's take a look at the CSS snippet. I'm going to add one more. 
demo CSS. I'm gonna select CSS and let's test this one. Heading 2, color red and font size 40 pixels for example. I'm gonna save it and now as you see I can use the auto reload changes. I'm gonna show what will it do. So I'm gonna activate it and then let's take a look at the preview. Well, well, what can you see here? I can take a look at my site. I'm gonna enable the snippet. Maybe you saw it refreshed and there you go. Pay attention that at the moment this H2 is applied to all of my site. But let's imagine that I would like only the checkout page to be included as a rule. That means that the H2 for checkout page is red and font size 40 pixels, but on all other sites it doesn't work. Fear you not, I'm gonna open up the custom once again condition builder, add condition. Current post is, let's take a look at the checkout, save and close, save, after that it will refresh. And as you see, heading here is as it was before, but if I go to the checkout page, you don't see any changes. It's because I forgot it's not H2, it's H3 here. Well, nevertheless, let's tweak it H3 here, save. And with a millisecond it refreshed. Now let's test whether the demo page H3 is affected by it. Well, nope. And this way you can add the custom CSS only to do pages you need it to be added. And this is an awesome feature. Also, as you see, there is a minify output here. That means if you use a lot of CSS, you can minify your code here. And whether to render the CSS inline on external file, you can change also this one here. I don't know whether you noticed, but there is a generate button here. Let's click on it and let's see what will it do. Click on it and it opens up generators. There is currently short load generator, it's already working. Custom post type generator, it will coming soon later. And it, there is also hook or action gener generator coming soon later. At the moment, if you would like to generate a short code, just click on it, give it the title, for example, my short code, generate it, and now you add your own code here, and you can use my short code to output the content. For example, I'm going to add this piece of code here, I'm going to show a message, free shipping, I'm going to save it, enable it, now I'm going to open up my demo page, and I'm going to add a short code here. Short code is my short code update, refresh, and this is my content I added here. That's how you can use uh, generators. As you see, there is a repository. Well, 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 what do we see here? A bunch of cool snippets for you to use. For example, I'm going to open up the WooCommerce. Set WooCommerce minimum order amount. If I click on it, you can see the snippet. And if you need to use it, just download it and activate it and you're good to go. For example, update WooCommerce cart when modifying the item quantity. Seems like a reasonable feature. I'm going to download it, activate it. Now I'm going to go to the cart page and see what happens. By default WooCommerce works in a way that if I update the quantity I have to click on the update cart button. But as you see there is no update cart button here. If I click on it, it will update the quantities and amounts and the totals automatically. Awesome. Let's take a look at another one. For example, update total price when quantity changes in WooCommerce. Well, let's activate this one here. I'm going to activate it. Let's take a look at the product. As you see, there is a product total here. If I update the quantity, the total is changing. And it took only a couple of clicks for me to do. The repository is ever growing and there are lots of those here. If I need to delete the snippet, just I'm going to click on the delete here. In the repository under the security, there is also hide the WordPress version for security reasons. What will it do for you? For example, if you take a look at the page source, then here the WordPress version and WooCommerce version. 
for security reasons it would be wise to hide them therefore I'm just gonna activate this one here refresh the page and if I take a look at the page source as you see those two lines here are hidden this repository contains bunch of cool stuff for example you can even activate the maintenance mode for your site just click on this download snippet activate it and now if I open my site in a private window the maintenance mode is activated I'm gonna delete it and leave it be there is also one more cool snippet I would like to demonstrate and it's under the general there are a bunch of cool snippets here but the one I'm gonna show you is the, that will add the duplicate button to post management table I'm gonna show you what will it do I'm gonna activate it and now if I go to the posts there is a duplicate button here just click on it and it will make you a duplicate post as a draft it also works with pages as you see duplicate here now let's talk about the plugin support there is a support tab here click on it and it, it will redirect you to the support page I have used it a couple of times because I have had some questions and I had to clarify something and most of the times I got the responses within a couple of hours sometimes it took longer but within 24 hours I've received all my answers the guy behind this plugin is called Ovidio he's really awesome with a support there is also a WP Codebox community on Facebook which is quite active you can suggest your own feature requests over there and you can also ask support because our video is using the Facebook page all the time. So long story short, Code Snippets was my go-to plugin before but now the WP Codebox is my go-to plugin if I make sites to my customers. But there is one more thing I would like to clarify. The Cloud Snippets, those will work only if you have a secret API key activated here. You can create a API keys for your customers if needed but if you delete this one here and save it now I'm gonna refresh it and as you see there are no cloud snippets here but the plugin can, can be updated because if you download the plugin from the WP Codebox account then your personal API key that allows you to get the updates are inside the plugin itself this API here is only for the cloud now once again if you're interested then take a look at the description of this video there is a 20% discount coupon for you and I would suggest you take a closer look at it because if you don't like it they have a 30 day money back warranty they will refund you the money. Now take a look at the screen right now as I told you before I have made a video about how to add the inquiry button on your single product page so this video is on the screen right now. Before you go and take a look at it if you find this tutorial helpful then press on the like button, stay safe and see you later.